Welcome to Kitty's Kitchen. Hello everybody and happy Thursday. <laughs> uh, it's Thursday evening and I'm doing a cooking project and I would like to invite you to take a look at uh, what I'm doing this evening for dinner. Uh, welcome to Kitty's Kitchen. This is my lovely masthead Kitty's Kitchen established in 2021 here in this apartment with my great new big kitchen. Um, anyway, tonight on the menu is fettuccine alfredo, and this is a special person's fettuccine alfredo. She's a Italian grandma, and she goes well. Her name is Gina, and she goes by the Italian grandma. Uh, and she has YouTube uh, YouTube um, shows that she hosts and everything. It's very cool. Um, anyway, so what what is um, in the fettuccine is. Um, three cups of Pecorino Romano cheese and you can get it in a block like this. I got several blocks because um, this is a seven ounce seven ounce block of cheese but um, if you grate it it turns into about three cups and that's what the recipe calls for is about three cups of Pecorino, of Pecorino Romano cheese and so one of these blocks equals three cups. So, um, and I also added a little bit of Parmesan cheese too because this is just classic Parmesan that I got grated um, and I added it to it. So this is the three cups of cheeses that I, um, I put together um, and um, three cups of heavy whipping cream. So it's the cheeses, the whipping cream and what I'm going to add into my fettuccine is some ham and uh, sweet peas. So this is going to be like a, a fettuccine alfredo uh, with ham and sweet peas. So I thought that would be good. And uh, new things going on with me. I have a job, so I'm working on the weekend. So I'm not, I'm not really. Um, I'm not really available on the on the weekdays, on the weekends to cook anymore like I used to be able to do. So I'm doing more of a weekend job thing. So I'm working on the weekend. So I don't have my Saturday night um, to um, to cook like I usually like to. But uh, I can find I can find a nice way to cook on um, on Thursday, right? Because <laughs> it's Thursday today. Uh, so let me get a, a wooden spoon. The heat was on a little bit high. I just wanted to melt the butter. Melt the butter first. And uh, then we'll add the cream and the cheese. And I guess you can you can add it all together at the same time. Let's see, this one is But I'm working at a restaurant. I work at um, a restaurant in town named Mi Vida. And it's got three locations. It's got a location in, in on U Street and a location in the wharf and a, and a location at um, at Ten Quarter, which is where which is where I go to work. And uh, it's a really nice Job, great managers, great food, great atmosphere. Really should come. And um, anyway, this is what I'm uh, doing. It's mixing some butter and some cream here. And that was two cups of cream. Now I'm going to add the third cup. And this is a it's a little bit extra cream, so if I want to make it a little bit more creamy, I can add a little bit more uh, at the end, just to just to get it a little bit more creamy, or if I want a little bit more creamy. So let's see. I have trouble opening this. Okay. So this will be the third cup. So 
So there it is. Oh, that's the timer for the noodles. The noodles are ready. Now to add the cheese. Three cups of pe Pecorino Romano cheese, queso. Should be good. See, as you can see, it's getting to be very creamy. And looking like a like a fettuccine, like a fettuccine cream sauce, and it's on low heat, it's on medium heat, so we can melt the cheese. And I want to I want to keep stirring it until it's nice and smooth, until all the cheese is melted. It calls for one pound of fettuccine. The fettuccine I have in here. So this is fettuccine. And I'll add this sauce too. I'll add this sauce. to the fettuccine in just a moment. Wow, it looks good. Looks nice and creamy. Well, thanks for being with me, you guys. Um, uh, other than getting, other than working at my new job, I, um, I am also doing a rewrite of my book. Um, just a simple, well, it's not really that simple, but um, just doing another version of it. So um, we'll see how that turns out in the long run. It's, it's kind of difficult to, um, to do, actually, because I'm kind of attached to the way that I have it right now. I thought I did a pretty good job in the first, in the first go round. <laughs> but uh, so rewriting is always something that authors have to do. So kind of in the middle of doing that. All right, let's see. I'm gonna turn this off and to put this sauce into the, into the fettuccine noodles. So let's see how that goes. So I have a nice big pot of fettuccine right here. Making fettuccine Alfredo. Now I'm going to add the ham pieces. It's a, it's a Kentucky smoked ham. Kentucky smoked ham. I got it. I got a big uh, block of it. I got it really for Easter, for our casserole, our ham asparagus casserole. But um, I, uh, but it it came sliced. So <laughs> I wanted the chunks in my casserole to be a little bit bigger. So I didn't end up using this particular ham. So I'm using it tonight, and I've also been making some ham sandwiches. So you can use ham in different ways, you know. Now the peas. Looks 
like a really nice, like a really nice fettuccine right here. All it needs is some cracked fresh black pepper and I'll do that in a little bit. But um, let me heat this up a little bit just to get this um, nice and warm. And I'll get my cracker, my pepper cracker. That's fresh, fresh fettuccine is good with cracked fresh black pepper. And I learned this trick from my brother, pestle and mortar. Makes the fresh ground freshly ground black pepper. I'll bring you over here a minute. And this is a nice, it's a, a nice creamy, creamy fettuccine Alfredo. Back to the basics, you know. Oh, sorry, it's not falling. Okay, so let me plate it up. See how creamy it is and good, and delicious, delectable. I'll even get some of the cream in here. And here we are, fettuccine alfredo with ham and peas. Should be good. Maybe I should taste it. I'll pause you to taste. Okay, here for the taste. I have a little bit of pepper on here. With the spoon. Mm, very nice. Thanks, Grandma Regina. All right, well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time on Cooking in Kitty's Kitchen. Bye.